Marvel Snap recently took some flack from the community for releasing some high gold price bundles into the shop. While these include a small amount of cosmetics, a variant, and an avatar, more importantly, they include a large amount of credits and collector's tokens, which allow you to directly unlock cards. Players that have only been playing since the global release of Marvel Snap have not had a chance to get anywhere near enough gold to get either of these first two bundles before they rotate out. However, it looks like moving forward, these types of bigger bundles are going to be regularly available with varying amounts of credits and tokens within them. This led me to ask myself the question, is it ideal for not only spending players, but also free to play players to be conserving the gold they're gonna be getting for free from reserves and their weekly missions to save up for these bigger bundles. Today, I've got all the numbers to break down to answer that question. Now, before we get into my numbers, I talk about my calculations a little bit, you should know that I am making the assumption that future bundles will have similar average gold price to credit and collector token ratios to these first two. I'm sure they're gonna move up or down slightly as Second Dinner tries to find that kind of sweet spot, whatever maximizes their goals for these bundles, profits, one would assume. Let's go ahead and dive on into why my calculations here show that for Every player of every type, whether they're free to play or someone spending as much as these can, these bundles will make the Marvel Snap Collection experience faster and cheaper. Now, while my labels here are relatively self-explanatory, I wanna break down a couple of important details. The first is that these before bundles numbers, I was making the assumption that players would spend every bit of gold that they acquired for free, turning those into additional credits to progress their account faster, because that was the best thing you could do with gold for account progression previously. The after bundles numbers assume that players are saving every bit of gold they get until they have enough gold to purchase one of these larger bundles. The important metrics to note for for this is that a completely free to play player acquires approximately 2000 gold per month and a season pass player purchasing the premium pass gets an additional 900 gold on top of that giving them approximately 3000 gold per month. The one bundle per month spender, in addition to saving their free gold and their $10 season pass gold, needs to purchase an additional 50 USD worth of gold to get one bundle per month. The two bundle per month spender needs to spend that $60 plus an additional 100 USD to guarantee a second bundle each month. And the max spender is spending approximately 22 USD in gold per day, plus purchasing two bigger bundles, meaning they're spending about 900 USD in that first month to blow through all of those cards in the first three series. As you can see from the numbers here, saving your gold for these bundles makes your series three completion rate faster, whether you are free to play or spending. That being said, if you are a free to play player, you should only expect to get one of these bigger bundles every three months or so, given their current average price tag. This means you will have to make the decision. Do you want a steady amount of extra progress over the course of your entire gameplay? Or do you want to save up and get bigger bursts of progress every few months for the sake of finishing your overall Series 3 collection slightly quicker? The second and final thing I want to touch on in this video is how the bundles impact players like myself who are in Marvel Snap's end game, meaning we are series three complete and we're looking to chase after those new weekly releases that are starting in series five and then we'll be slowly downgrading into series four and eventually into series three. Two things to note on this page. The first is that if you're someone who is spending on Marvel Snap on the regular, if these bundles continue similar to the ones that we're getting in December, the price of keeping up with everything is coming down. If you're someone like myself that's aiming to have every Series 5 release as it happens, that price is going to look to be closer to 300 USD per month as opposed to the over 500 it was before these bundles existed. If you're someone who is a mid-size 
die spender that's looking to have your choice of a series five card every single month and then getting uh, two others as they enter that fourth series that price tag is less than half costing about 60 usd per month as opposed to the 135 it was before purchasing gold directly the second thing to note here is that while the top spenders are going to get a consistent experience because they're consistently spending money, season pass players and free to play players are going to have more bursts and when they're able to acquire more cards right away. Season pass holders, as mentioned earlier, acquire about 3000 gold per month, meaning you're going to be able to get one of these bigger packages every other month or so, giving you access to series five cards sooner every other month. Similarly, free to play players get about 2000 gold per month meaning they'll have that extra burst every third month or so I have to say, after running all the numbers, I'm really glad they made these account progression focus bundles available for gold. It means that even free to play players can have a bigger goal to save up for to complete their collections even faster. They also mean spending players have the ability to make their dollar go even further if they're patient and wait to pick up these bundles as opposed to buying gold to turn into credits directly. What are your thoughts on these bundles? Do you think you're going to be saving the gold that you acquire in game to purchase them? Or are you still going to be rolling up additional message to provide that steady flow of extra credits like we've been doing up until this point? As always, if you enjoyed my breakdown and everything, I encourage you to tap that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I post Marvel Snap breakdowns like this, game news updates and deck highlights here seven days a week. And I'd love to see you back again. Thanks for watching through all the way to the end of the video. As always, folks, enjoy the rest of your day.